Hi guys, I just made a video about a new Outlink Street tool and it's all about theming that one and also about a new configuration. Well, the cleanup, let's say, of uh, the configuration of i3. I've got this urge to create a new icon theme. Sorry, <laughs> a new i3 theme. And that's in the config, in i3. These are all themes right oops these are all themes and what i would do is think about a name <laughs> that's something we need to do think about a name and then go change the code we can actually compare already a little bit sometimes it makes sense to have a look and start what will i start with what code will i use as a template right that's um, something to look out for. Maybe, depending on the project you, the what if you have in your head, maybe there's some kind of default and start with that one, right? Here we have the North theme, so, and the VAR. These guys are from somebody else, right? It's imported, if I remember correctly, from somewhere. So all these data, you see lots of base colors here, base, this, base, that. Maybe you'd like to work with this kind of, well, code, right? So I'll show you if I open this, not with Sublime Text, but if I open this with Atom, and if I install pigments in there, this is what you get, right? So find, settings, view, install packages, search for pigments, install it. It's installed, right? Install, click on the button, install for pigments. And there you got this. So now you can actually look already. Base is, is black and then it gets lighter, lighter. And that's some kind of uh, color that came from some kind of uh, website, I think. This looks a little bit too slick, right? So there are color combinations out there. I would just say color templates, maybe color com yeah, combinations, combis, and they are using those colors and then they define the background should be this, the separator should be that. So maybe this is not a bad way to do it because we can see, well, we need to translate in our mind. That's going to be grayish. The background is going to be zero D. Okay. Zero D is this thing and so on and so on. You can make your own things like base one, two, three, four, five, and not go hexadecimal here. But um, voila, choices, right? It's always the same thing, choices. Here we do see immediately the color already available. So maybe I'll start with this one. This looks like it's the most complex thing to do. So I'll, I'll take this one. This is Nord, this is Sulfur, and this is Zin. So these, these themes, well, it, it makes sense to put colors uh, together, right? And say, okay, well, uh, those are the colors I'll pick like a painter in, in um, having his, as we call it, the palette. So well, having his, his paper there is, is, is where he mixes his paint. Well, that's the choices we have to color it. So that's that, or, right, have a look at frame. This is another way of doing things fire dust makes maybe more sense right for me this makes more sense because immediately i see the border the background indicator and and so on right so entirely up to you what you start with and i'm have my doubts really uh, should i do this one which is for me anyway quite difficult because you don't see it right base zero five so it's going to be great you need to actually click these things to know what it is. So make my choice, right? Make my choice. I'm gonna go for something easier, like our way of doing things, our way of coloring, because this is not visual. So a name, I have no clue. Control C, Control V, that's what you do, right? You don't want to be, it to be overwritten by us. If you do a scale, your theme must still be there. Rename it. It will never be overridden because I can't guess your name. So, a name. 
I have no clue what I'm gonna make. So, no clue. <laughs> we'll see later, right? <laughs> so, Ctrl Alt T. Uh, no, sorry, Ctrl Alt E actually. Um, let's have a look. The Articlinks tweak tool will have a nice list. Let's delete some things here. Voila. Uh, so, the themes, and then no clue. Where is no clue? There you are. Apply. So this is my theme, right? It's greenish. Blah. You like it, you hate it, right? Um, entirely up to you to change everything you see. So this I don't need anymore. No clue is open. Where are you? And then I'm gonna go for an atom because atom has pigments, right? That's the only reason why we're using it. And you can go. I don't need you. Tja. Maybe a JPEG is not, not that bad as idea, I don't know. So you look online or you go for, um, yeah. you go for, by the way, this is a super shift space that I did to tile it so it's not floating. By default, it's floating. It's in the settings somewhere, right? So here we have colors, right? So we can have a look at colors and say, okay, fine. Uh, how was it again? Ah, oh, yeah, here. I always want to drag this thing. Ah, it works. I want to drag this thing, but it's actually, uh, it should do it here maybe, maybe easier. I don't know. Hmm. Colors, background colors. So we've got here the bar. Maybe we start with the window color settings, maybe easier. So this thing here, window color settings, urgent, client background. Okay, fine. So we've got these colors. Uh, we have already kind of orange and red kind of things. Now, what color should we take? We've done green, we've done, oh, yellow maybe. Yellow maybe. So, either you copy. Was this add to palette? Yeah, voila. And then move to clipboard, this one. Or you just type in. I think this we can still type this control V double hashtag no good right super shift R oh yeah it's gonna float this thing again and again and again <laughs> so client focused border background control C control V control V so all the green things have changed. Control S, Super Shift R. And what have we changed now? Get away. So the focused one, no clue theme. All right, <laughs> where are we? We are in the theme. So Eric, well, yeah, it's a separate file from the configuration. I, uh, I need to apply the themes, no clue, right? Super F, apply, super F, super shift R. Oh my God, this is actually better, right? Yellow and green now is actually not that bad as a combo. That's a nice color combo. And that's the only thing you have to think about, right? What color combo do I want? Now, so let's say this is, is what we like, then this maybe should be orange there as well. So the bar thing, where's the bar thing? Here is focused workspace. Mm. Okay. So this color, that won't be good, but we're gonna do, could go there anyway. Voila. I need to apply it again. Right? Super Shift R. This is this greenish? I think so. But the text is unreadable. So we're going all black now for the text. Super Shift R. And then Super F. Apply. Super F. Super Shift R. So this is black now, much better, right? So if we go to second and the third and the fourth workspace, it's, it's really 
readable, right? You can't see, you can see what's going on. Mm. Background, colors, do I want to change anything else? Because once it's good, it's good, right? Keep off. If you say, this is it, this is it. Oh, I need to change the name. Well, yeah, let's keep no clue. <laughs> Why not just for the fun? <laughs> Sorry. No clue in capital letters. <laughs> That's fun. And this, it, this should be fun, right? Linux. This should be fun. Unfocused is this color. Gpic, help me guy. So I've got this, right? Can you give me nearest from palette? Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> What's that? There is a, a way of making complementary and null. Ooh, look at that. All these choices and maybe you think, all right, can we click this one again? So is that the green thing? Yeah. No, yes, no. Ah, that's the color we have. So this color, nearest from palette, I don't know. There are other things, this generation, layout preview. Wow, how was it again, right? How was it again? But actually I wanna see this color. Add to palettes, pale brown. Well, I wouldn't call it brown, but okay, get it. And then maybe the unfocused, let's have a look what happens if it's not green-ish. But like this, brownish. Remember, right, the drill is to go to super F, apply, super F, super shift R. So that's unfocused. I'm gonna do some more. Control Z. Right, you can always go back, Control Z, save. I, th I think the color combine combination there is okay, but we need to see it, right? So Control save, that's one, super F, that's two, apply the no clue, super F again, super shift R again. Hmm. Hmm. Yo. No, why not? You could keep this one. That's the client background. Ah yeah, if you, a tip, if you wonder which element is which, you take a color that does not exist, right? So um, in this case that we have already read, normally I would do FF000, that's RGB, that's red, green, blue, right? Since I don't have anything blue, I'll take zero, zero, FF, zero, um, oh, sorry, red, green, blue, right? So FF, save. Super shift R is not gonna work. So first we're gonna apply, go here, super shift R, and see client background, what its element it is. And in this case, we don't see anything. So client background, uh, what was this again? I don't know, right? Window color. Uh, that's for the windows. Don't think we can see this. Well, I like the coloring. <laughs> and that's why we do it, right? Because you are creative and because you can make your own look, right? So control Z, control Z. So whatever that is, it does not show yet. Safe. Um. It's actually this that I wanted to test out for you guys. Uh, zero, zero, FF, 
as red, green, blue. Well, actually, there it is, blue. <laughs> and then super F, and then apply, super F, and super shift R. And we've got this color now, background. What is this? That's not blue at all. Okay. So red, green, blue. Let's try that again. Voila, much better. So, mm, too much over the top? Probably, right? Probably. So, the status line, there is a separator we can color, but the background is way over the top. But, what would be good? I don't know. What would be nice? And that's the problem always, right? There are 16 million colors now to choose from. 16 million colors. Back to the darkish kind of thing. And then status line. Ah, oh, yeah, that's this, this little line down there. Status line, that was that. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, I wanted to say separator. Ah, uh, yeah, separator. And status line, what's that then again? I don't know. So, zero, zero, FF, zero, zero, which is green. And then we go to super F, apply, super F. And at some point in time, well, things will show, right? So, okay, that's status line. Hmm, what if, what if, what if? We took control C, this one as color, save, and then super F, apply, super F, super shift R. That's soft for the eyes. And that's more in theme with it as well. Well, I could go on and out for hours, but it's only 17 minutes, right? Only 17 minutes and you've got yourself a system. Oh, I just noticed something that I can't go. I can't leave that. Uh, when we do a super F2 and put here a control T, this one is a little bit dark. As in, I can't almost read it kind of dark. So the inactive workspace gonna be which one is it gonna be and it's gonna be this one right hmm is that that dark eight eight nine nine how about ace a A A A A A safe Alright, let's have a look. Control F apply Control F super shift R Well this for me it's already a great improvement. So the other eight eight I'll take it with it. Same thing A A this is all white, which is a little bit too harsh for the eyes, I think. Okay. And you keep on working, right? It, you might find something out after working hours on it. You say, hey, why is this looking that like that? And then you go back in the code and change it. So guys, we have an Arclix no clue theme. <laughs> all right, cheers. Have fun, be creative and Users have done that in the past. If you created something, right? Share it, share it. So it becomes part of the Arcanix community and anybody can install it. Cheers.